Hey there, this is Dan, and today I want to show you a little website that any Python developer should know about. So you may have heard of the PEP8 style guide for Python code. Uh, it's pretty well known in the Python community. It's kind of the standard style guide for Python code. It's fairly wide used and people often refer to it. So it's definitely something worth knowing about. And it's really something that can push your Python code to the next level because it helps you avoid some of the common mistakes um, that people make. And um, it's a pretty interesting document to read. And it also makes it easier for you to work with other Python developers because you can make your code look like everyone else's Python code. And that makes it easier to contribute to Python open source projects or just to work with other developers on a project. So these style guides are really important um, if you want to become a great Python developer, if you want to become a uh, Python developer that can work well with other people. So highly recommend it to read the style guide and to learn more about the style guide. And just to give you an, an idea of, um, you know, what's what's contained in the style guide. So the style guide talks about very basic stuff. Um, how should you control your indentation levels, which is always a bit of a, a challenge or can can be a bit of a challenge in Python, if you have long running lines, and it makes a lot of recommendations and shows you these, you know, good versus bad examples here. And uh, this document is great. So I love PP8. I love this style guide um, it really helped me improve my Python skills when I read it the first time. But the problem I think with this document is that it's kind of hard to read. So these PP uh, documents, they're, um, they're a way for the Python language to evolve. So they're all hosted on python.org. People can submit these Python enhancement proposals. So that's what PEP -E stands for. And then they kind of grow over time, they're improved over time. Um, oftentimes, they are then turned into actual libraries or new functionality that gets added to Python. And in this case, the style guide is kind of this ongoing thing that only exists in PP form on uh, python.org. Now, like I said, this is a little bit hard to read, there's no syntax highlighting for code. And it's kind of hard to just navigate this document. And so what I've been recommending to people is a website called pp8.org. And it was initially created by Kenneth Reitz, who also uh, is the founder or creator of the popular requests HTTP library. So this guy is actually one of my Python heroes. And he did a really great job here with uh, pp8.org. Because basically what he did is he took all the content from the original pp8 website, and or the original PP8 document, and then started reformatting it. So he didn't change the content, but he just made it a little bit easier to navigate and to find what you're looking for. So for example, here on the left, you have this uh, persistent navigation that makes it easier for you to find what you're looking for. And you can just click uh, one of these points here in the table of contents, and it will take you exactly to what you were looking for. Also, there is syntax highlighting now for these code examples, which I find really useful, because it just makes it so much easier to read these code examples. Now, besides that, there is also some functionality, some highlighting applied for the good and bad code examples. So in the original document, you would generally just find like a little no uh, marker that tells you, hey, you know, don't do this, this is bad. And here at P or on pp8.org, this was replaced by these little highlight, uh, red highlight bars here on the left. So you can kind of even at a glance, you can just see directly, is this a good example? Or is this a bad example? And uh, I really like the improved formatting here. And it's just so much easier to read and so much easier to navigate. So I've been referring people to pp8.org. And another, you know, huge benefit for this is that it's just so much easier to remember pp8.org versus python.org slash dev slash pp slash pp-008. And sure, you can always Google for this stuff. But if you want to send people to, you know, a nice readable representation of the Python style guide, then I highly recommend that you check out pp8.org. Now pp8.org um, is an open source website. So it's, um, 
It lives on GitHub. And you can just go in and suggest modifications or, you know, if you find uh, a mistake or if you can come up with some kind of improvement, you can collaborate with us and uh, help make this website better. So after meeting Kenneth at PyCon, um, I, you know, just thanked him for this website. And he was like, oh, you know what? It's actually out of date. And there are some recent changes that were made to PP8 or the original PP8 that weren't actually tracked on the pp8.org website. So um, I offered my help and now I'm essentially a co-maintainer on pp8.org. And um, over the last couple of days, I made some small changes and created some pull requests that bring in the missing uh, content. So pp8.org is now fully up to date. Uh, Kenneth and I, we also enabled HTTPS support so you can browse this securely. And like I said, PP8, I think it's a really great project. Um, there's probably tons more improvements we could make to how this, how the information is presented. And um, I think if we can make PP8 just easier to digest and easier to understand and easier to browse, you know, the, the style guide, not necessarily pp8.org. If we can spread kind of the goodness that is PP8, um, in the Python community more and more, then I think it will lead to, to more maintainable Python code. It will help people collaborate on open source projects because it will be easier for people to work together on these projects if they use the same coding, uh, coding style. So I think this can be a really helpful and beneficial project to the Python community. And um, so if you're interested in this project or if you think this, this is a good idea, then I would appreciate if you you know, share it with your friends, tell everyone who's looking for uh, a Python style guide, style guide, tell them about pp8.org. Um, if you want to contribute to the project, then please go ahead and, you know, submit a pull request or see if you can find some, maybe we have some bugs in there or we have some typos in there. And um, if you can find any, any way we can, you think we could improve pp8.org, please go ahead and submit a pull request and then either uh, Kenneth or I will review it and we can make this website better and better over time. All right, that's it for me. So go and check out pp8.org. I think it's a pretty fantastic website. And I think it's great that Kenneth put that together and just launched it and bought the domain. So thank you, Kenneth. <laughs>